Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with something new, and today we're going to play Don't Let Him In. This will be blind, so hopefully it's not bad. I kind of like the minimal post-processing just because it's kind of cleaner. So let's go with that. Okay, well, let's start this game. And as you can see, the graphics, you know, they're not fancy. Oh, okay. So Todd says, I don't know about this. Hitchhiking can be dangerous. What if he's a criminal? Come on, Todd. We can't judge everyone based on appearances. Besides, we're all in this together. We'll be fine. Look at him. He definitely doesn't look like a killer. I mean, look at our faces. <laughs> we might all be killers here. Yeah, there's three of us. What's he going to do? Oh, wait, the hitchhiker isn't in the, the vehicle just yet. All right, fine. Let's pick him up. But we're keeping a close eye on him. Let's see who this hitchhiker is. If he's wearing like a, a hoodie or something, come on. So, guy, where are you headed? Oh my goodness, this guy looks this guy looks like a killer. Just trying to get to the next town over. I got some business to take care of there. Yeah, he's gonna kill some young ladies. And what kind of business would that be? Just some personal stuff, nothing to worry about. Would y'all like to see my collection of knives? Well, we're headed to a concert. You're welcome to join us if you want. No, thank you. Thanks for the offer, though. Hey, guys, I don't know if it's just me, but that gas station gave me the creeps. I don't remember seeing a cashier. I just left the money on the counter. Oh, our hitchhiker killed him. Really? That's odd. I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. Me neither. Yeah, maybe you're right. I just had a feeling that something wasn't right. Gas stations can be creepy places, especially when they're empty. But don't worry, you're all safe with me around. Hey, have you guys heard about the storm that's supposed to hit tonight? No, what storm? I heard it's going to be a doozy. But it won't stop you guys from seeing that killer band, right? Definitely not. Not a chance in hell. You know, I've seen some strange things on this road. Things that make me question myself. What do you mean? I don't want to talk about it. I just want to get to the next stop. I fear for my life. He doesn't want to talk about it, but he talks about it. Are you okay? You're starting to sound paranoid. Dude, relax. We've been driving for hours and we haven't seen anything strange yet. At least until we picked you up. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bad joke. Yeah, yeah, it was a bad joke. Now we're going to die because of him. And this game's relatively cheap on Steam. It's like $4 or something or, or $8. I don't know. I don't remember. All right, I think we've been driving for a while now. Anyone else starting to get a little creeped out? Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this. Why does it feel like we're just driving in circles? I know, it's starting to freak me out. What do you think about the hitchhiker we picked up? Because he could definitely not hear us talking about him. I don't know, he seemed normal enough when we picked him up. But now he's just staring out the window and not saying a word. Do you ever feel like you're trapped? Like no matter what you do, you can't get out? He speaks, but seriously man, what are you talking about? I know you're scared, you're all scared, but there's no need to be afraid. What are you talking about? Your fears and doubts, things that keep you up at night, I can help you break free. How are you going to do that? By showing you the truth. I don't like this, let's just drop him off, please sir, get out. It's too late, you're all trapped, and there's no way out. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my god, what just happened? Did he really just kill himself? Why does it look like our guy's jacking it off in the front? Like, he's just, like, jumping up and down. I can't believe this is happening. Why did we pick him up? Why did we let him into our car? We have to try and stay calm. I just need to figure out what's going on and how to get out of here. It's going to be okay. We'll find a police station nearby and tell them what happened. Oh my god, my dad's gonna fucking kill me. The car, what if they think we had something to do with this? I think he was trying to tell us something. I think he's just fucking crazy. We have to keep going or we're going to miss the band. Oh, the band. <laughs> Man, I know there's a body that just exploded in the back seat, but I really need to go see this band. The band? Who gives a crap about the band? Fuck you, Todd. Fuck you, Tyler. Hey, chill, don't touch his gun. I'm gonna go into the diner and see if I can find some help. You guys coming or what? I'll wait here. Something about this place gives me the creeps. Me too. I'll keep the hitchhiker company. Fuck you, Tyler. <laughs> Fuck you, Todd. Will you both quit it? Alright, I'll go in by myself then. Oh, we have sanity and everything. Oh, wow. Well, I can't really see. You know, it's a little dark in here. Hello? Yeah, I turn it up a little bit because it's really dark in here. Oh, well, hold on. We're probably going to pick up that flashlight. A flashlight? I need that. It's really dark. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Well, this is definitely better. Oh, that's okay. If I can find the right tool, I bet I can get this open. So is it like coffee we're finding? A phone. It seems to be broken. Oh yeah, it sounds broken. Oh my goodness. Okay, well nothing in there. There's something in this hole. Oh my god, it's like Silent Hill. It's disgusting, but I better but I better look inside. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Stick your hand down the uh, unknown uh, poles. So the driver's license of the of somebody. An ID card. It looks like the guy we picked up. The card. It's pretty beat. I can't tell for sure. I think I can slide open the kitchen door with this. Oh well, it looks like there's somebody at the door. Let's get that. Our guys are just outside smoking it up. Like, look at this guy. Man, what's the weird noises in the background? I I'm kind of liking this game, not gonna lie. A strange symbol written on the wall. What the hell? Yeah, we definitely need to check that out. Apparently not. Can't do nothing with it. I've got to get out of here and back to the car. Okay, we got the diner key. I guess this door is locked. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. <laughs> There's something terrible going on here. See anybody? A phone, perhaps? Nah, not a working one, but I saw something strange. I don't know what it means, though. Okay, genius. We should probably go. But what about him? <laughs> the car is all bloody and fucked up. <laughs> Let's just keep him. We can't just leave him here. Right, we'll have to bring him with us. But we need to hurry. Shotgun. Fuck you, man. I had to write down with the guy. It's your turn. Shit, alright. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Todd. You get in the back. This is so creepy. He's just sitting there staring at us. I know, I can't bear to look at him. Let's try not to think about it. Look, there's that motel up ahead. James, you should go check it out. Are you sure that's a good idea? What about the dead guy in our car? I'm aware of the situation, Tyler, but I have to look for help. Oh, 
Alrighty. So our guys, as you can see, smoking and drinking, just having a good time with a, you know, dead body. Hey, we need help. Hello? My goodness. I can't take it anymore. The road goes on forever and there's no escape. I thought I saw someone up ahead, but when I got closer, they disappeared. Am I losing my mind? Okay, so it looks like somebody else has also, you know, had our problem. Employee lounge. I think I can get in here if I can find the keys. So we need to find the keys to the lounge. I'm guessing there's somewhere else out here. Well, let's walk around the, the bottom floor first. Man, our sanity just cannot handle it. Doors jammed shut from the other side. I don't think I'll be able to get in this one. Oh, okay, so we can get in the... We can get into the rooms. Let's start with one. Nope, never mind. We can't go in one. That's locked. Let's go in three. I keep hearing whispers in my ear, but when I turn around, there's no one there. I can't tell if it's my imagination or something else. I don't know how much longer I can take this. Yeah, well, we need some sanity, so. Let's see what's in the bathroom. Hello? This place is really filthy. It's like nobody has been here for a long time. Or they don't have a maid. Yeah, because they have to have a maid to clean. He to room for. The hell is that? Alrighty, room four. This is like a, you know, it's a nice little game. It's it's relatively affordable. Oh my god, what's going on in here? Someone dying in here? I try to leave this endless road by walking through the woods, but it just led me back here. It's like there's no escape. I'm starting to think I'm in some kind of hell. Well, now we can get to room five. Fortunately, there's nothing for sanity. Oh, right here. I'm guessing this is five. Russell behind door. Hello? Is anyone there? This is an emergency. Strange. I thought I heard something. Better come back and check this room out a bit later. Oh, well. Don't worry. I got the, I got the key, maybe? Nope. We don't have a key for room five. Or, I guess that's room six. My bad. Oh, look at this couch. Really big. I can feel their hands on me. Pulling me down. Dragging me into the darkness. Kid, what happened to you? Get it together, James. That's where I just... And then we got the... Oh, the employee lounge key. Hmm. Might be worth checking out. You know, I'd just be seeing a whole bunch of dead bodies everywhere. With their eyes gouged out. Why not? Oh, like a little Hummer. How y'all guys doing? Y'all y'all having fun by the dead body? I'll go find some help, check all the rooms. Okay, so they give you hints about like what to do. The hell is going on here? We got ourselves a crawler. Key to room one. What's in this room? Oh, well, can't get in there. Room one, I'm here. What do you have for me? Oh, well, at least the TV's not on. Oh, so this is an unmarked video player, but it seems there is no tape player around. I should probably take this. Okay. I guess we're going to watch it in one of the movies. Okay, nothing in here. I'm guessing one of the rooms has a VHS player.
Guess we just gotta find it. I really wasn't looking at the TVs. Oh, we can go in here now, okay. Strange that the same symbol I saw at the din diner. A video cassette player. Maybe I should watch the tape I found in the other room. We'll definitely do that. Let's kind of check this room first. Uh, it kind of looked like there might have been something in here. Click to put the video or the tape in the video player. Oh, this guy's is like naked watching us. We can't escape our own minds, James. Look at him, he's all naked and shit. He's like, yeah, keep on doing what you're doing, James. This is the only way I can show you how. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the hell? He was the here, I saw him. Can't watch this tape here, I've gotta get back to my friends. Okay, well yeah, let's not watch the movie. Yeah, our uh, sanity was really low. We're about to have a heart attack. Dude, are you okay? I heard you screaming from inside. I don't know. I thought I saw the hitchhiker, but I'm probably seeing things. I have a really bad feeling about this place, man. That's it. We have to get this body out of here. It smells horrible. I think he shit himself. Okay, but then we have to get out of here. Throw him in the dumpster. How are they going to do this? Alright, who's going to move it? But James, what if we get caught? We'll be in a world of trouble. He's going to start talking. I agree with Todd. We can't just leave the body there. It's not right. Exactly, Tyler. We have to do the right thing. We can't just leave this poor guy on the side of the road. We need to burn him. But what if the police stop us and find the body in the car? We'll just have to take the risk. It's better than leaving him in the car with us. Actually, I think Tyler is right. We should move the body and then call the police to report it. All right, Tyler, do it quickly and let's get out of here before anyone sees us. I'm sorry, uh, hitchhiker guy. Damn, it started raining too. Come on, start already. Maybe it's just a dead battery or maybe it's something more serious. We need to figure this out quickly. He warned us about this storm, and we don't want to be stuck here. Yeah, I'll get out and take a look. Silent Hill, like, meets retro graphics. I'm pretty sure Todd can get out, get our car running again. He's always been good with fixing things. I don't know, man. Todd's never worked on a car before. I don't think he has the skills to fix whatever's wrong with it. Well, you might be right, Tyler. But at least we can give him a chance. We don't have many options right now. I can hear you. I'm getting really cold. What's on your mind, man? You look like you've seen a ghost. Actually, I've been seeing this dead hitchhiker, like, moving around. First at the diner and now the motel. Uh, and you know what? The more we see him, the more naked he gets. It's kind of worrisome. What is it, Tyler? I know I like to joke around, but I've been seeing him too. I knew I wasn't crazy, but what does it mean? Why are we both seeing him? Not sure, but I think it has to do with our hitchhiker friend. Also, have you noticed how the road seems to loop back around? It's like we can never get past this that same spot. Gas station, motel, and diner. It's like we're stuck, just like he said. All right, that should do it. Do you guys want to get inside and try to, to start it again? Okay, hot shot. Let's get this bad boy running. Yes, Todd. Well done, Todd. I have to hand it to you. You're not a useless piece of garbage after all. Now, can we all get out of here? What's that noise? Hey. Damn. He just got splattered. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, he might be dead now. Todd. Todd. Not Todd. Oh, my God. What just happened? I can't believe this. Get in the car, Tyler. We need to get out of here. 
but what about Todd? I'm sorry, buddy. Jesus, fuck. What do we do? I, I didn't mean to always be a... Treat him like... Dude, he knows you love him. We need to get out of here before anything else happens. But what about the hitchhiker? Oh my goodness, he's gone. Where did he go? Who cares about him? I can't believe Todd is fucking dead, man. We have to get out of here, Tyler. Yeah, fuck Todd. He's dead. <laughs> oh, God, they got Todd now in the back seat. Dude, you haven't said a word. What do you want me to say? My friend Todd's dead. Something. Anything. I can't believe this happened, man. I just can't believe it. I know, Ty. It's hard to make sense of something like this. And now I keep seeing my brother, Danny. I know he's not really here, but I can't shake the feeling that he's with me. You know, Danny drowned in the lake near our house when we were kids. That hitchhiker now, that hitchhiker now Todd, they're in my head. You're not alone, man. We'll get through this together, but I'm really worried for you. Danny, my baby brother was just staring at me through the water. Even though he was lifeless, he had a look on his face as if he wanted to kill me. Try to calm down. It's okay, man. You're just shaken up. We'll be at the gas station soon and we can get some gas. Wait, did you say the gas station? Yeah, we're running pretty low on gas. We need to stop and refuel. You mean the gas station where all this mess started? Yeah. But what can we do, man? Todd got the car working. We need to use it to get away from here. That's close to where we picked up that fucking guy. Dude, the light is on. I guess you're right. Let's just get this over with. Yeah. This is weird. Hey man, I'm gonna grab some supplies. Is that okay with you? I don't know, James. It could be risky. We need to get food, batteries. We can't keep driving forever without stopping. This guy is fueling up the car while smoking. And he's talking about risky. God, okay, fine. But let's make it quick. I don't like the feeling of being exposed like this. That guy could come back any second. I hear you, man. Yeah, if he drops his, like, cigarette and it causes an explosion, I'm gonna be, like, upset. I'm gonna be like, really? You could have avoided that. It's locked. That's strange. When I was here earlier, it wasn't locked. I need to find the key. Kind of like a dead end over here. Okay, so... Nothing's going on on this side. We're going to leave that sanity there just when we find the key. In the eyes? Huh. I'm really kind of trying to figure out, like, where do we go? Well, now we need the sanity. Todd, you got something to say? Nope. Oh, over here. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ, he's dead. What happened to his eyes? I'm so sorry, but I need that key. The hitchhiker, he's not just in my head anymore, he's real. Oh, there's some sanity there, nice. Uh, anything in here? Nope. Can't open it. That's weird, the money left, I left earlier is still here. Where is everybody? Well, pick up your money, man. Shit, this place is pretty much empty. I better grab whatever I can. Get all this good stuff. I say it sounded like a door open. I will leave that sanity there just in case. Oh, okay, there's someone there. What's going on here? A videotape player. I should watch that tape. Press to push play. Let's see what's going on.
What's taking him so long? Hey. Oh my god, Todd's talking to him. Todd, is that really you? Yeah, it's me, man. I don't understand the truck. It killed you. I know, but I wanted to talk to you to say goodbye. Why did you have to go, man? Why did this happen to you? I don't know, Ty. I really don't. But I want you to know that I love you and I'm proud of you. I miss you, Todd. I miss you so much. You know, Ty, to be completely honest, I actually never really liked you. What? Todd, what are you talking about? You always thought you were better than me, didn't you? You always looked down on me? No, dude. You were my friend. I never thought that. Don't lie to me, Ty. You always thought you were the smart one, the successful one. You always put yourself first. Todd, what's going on? Why are you saying these things? Because I want you to suffer, Ty. I want you to feel the pain I felt when I died. You were never a good friend to me, and now you're going to pay for it. Todd, please. This isn't you. You're not like this. Oh, but I am, Ty. I'm exactly like this. And now, you're going to have to live with the guilt of knowing you weren't a good friend to me. I can't take this, Todd. Please make it stop. He's going to kill himself. Tyler, Tyler, we need to get out of here right now. What took you so long? In the motel, I found this tape. I thought it was just some random home movie, but it wasn't. Okay, who gives a shit? Dude, the tape was unlabeled. I couldn't tell what was on it until I got here and used the VCR at the gas station. A young girl tied up by Tyler, the hitchhiker. He was doing it for, for fun, like a sick game. And the victim, she was screaming and begging for him to stop but the hitchhiker was just smiling. I didn't know what to do. I mean, there was no way to identify who the victim was. God knows how many tapes there are like this. There was a house. A house? Yeah, a blue house right at the beginning of the tape. There was only a few seconds of footage as it had been recorded over. There was only a few frames, but I think I could spot it out if I saw it. Dude, look, over there, back at that diner. Hello, hello, requesting return transmission over. There's no use, it must be the walkie. The trees can interfere with the signal. I guess you're right, but something feels different about this place. Hmm, 12 o'clock. Hey, hey, oh my god, are we glad to see you? Hey there, boys, what are you doing out here all alone? You've gotta help us, we picked up a hitchhiker, but he, he killed himself. Our friend was hit by a truck, we've been driving, but it feels like we're getting nowhere. Whoa, whoa, slow down. You boys haven't been doing drugs tonight, perhaps? Slow down, Frank. Now that you mention it, we've been having some trouble with this road ourselves. We've been radioing in, but we can't get a signal. See, this is why I keep telling you the department needs to get some of that new cellular phones. Okay, Frank. So you've been having trouble with this road too? Yeah, this is my first uh, night working in this town, and it feels like we've been stuck out here for a while. That's not the only weird thing that's been happening. I know what you mean. Actually, I recognize you. You're Tyler Franco, right? Uh, yeah, how did you know? Your brother went missing a decade ago, right, Danny? Went missing? He, he drowned, but I don't see how that... Tyler, listen, uh, I don't know if I should be telling you this. Your brother didn't drown. He was abducted. But I saw him drown. I'm... Sorry, Tyler. We put countless resources towards investigating your brother's disappearance for years, but we've never been able to find the guy who did it. We narrowed down the search, and we think it was the guy who ran the videotape store here in this town. But he had an alibi for that day. I hate that fucking guy. What a degenerate lowlife. Frank. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, kid. What happened to your brother was tragic. Did I dream that my brother drowned? I was so young. My parents. They withheld the truth from me this entire time. Did you say something about a hitchhiker? You won't believe us. It's just strange the abductor's MO was to hitch rides with families, kill the parents, and take the children. Your brother's case was different, in that he was lured away from school by a stranger. However, in both cases, eyewitnesses claim to have seen a bald man. Roughly in his mid to late 30s, we have reason to believe that, their ca that these cases are connected. I... I can't believe it. Why are you telling me this now? We needed to be sure, but listen, we need your help. James saw something, didn't you? Something that could be connected to Danny's disappearance. Yeah, I saw this horrible tape. It was, it was hard to watch. 
A tape? What kind of tape? Let me show you. <laughs> yeah. Let me play it. Oh my god. What the hell is this? I've been a cop for 22 years. I've never seen anything like this. Frank, we need to act on this right away. This is sickening. So you said you picked up this guy. Does anyone recognize the location? Yes, it's him, but I don't recognize the house. Maybe we can track down the girl in the video and see if she's still alive. How would she be alive if he's been like torturing her for fun? Do you think this guy could have done this to my brother? Not sure, son. We need to put out an APB on this guy and get Tyler and James to safety. Can we help you guys catch this guy? Absolutely not. We can't risk your safety, but we'll keep you updated on the investigation. You know what, guys? I think we need to destroy the tape. It's not worth risking our lives for. What are you talking about, Frank? Yeah, we have to find the hitchhiker. He's a danger to everyone. And what about my brother? He could still be out there. I'm sorry, Tyler, but we can't risk our lives for a lost cause. Why does he want to destroy the tape if he's not, like, in trouble for it? I'm sorry, but I have to tell you all something. Frank's involved. What is it, Frank? Seriously, Frank. That hitchhiker, you shouldn't have picked him up. Wait, so you guys know each other? We all know of him. It's a small town, and we have to stick together. What is he to you? What's his part in all this? He cursed our town, trapping us inside. No matter how hard we try, we cannot leave. The road just leads back here. He promised to free us. All he needed was sacrifices. Tokens, if you will. It's not what you think. We don't just kill people for no reason. We believe that by offering the right souls, we can bring about a new age of enlightenment. One where we are free. You're crazy. No, James, I'm not crazy. I'm enlightened. He appeared like a prophet. How else can you explain it? What the fuck are you talking about, Frank? Deputy, you know too much already, and you're not part of this. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Oh, he's gonna kill her? Damn. Everyone's dead but us. We're just in the corner like, what the fuck happened? And then we're back in the car. Alrighty, but we're going to stop here today. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. And next time we'll see what happens.